We have learned four different ways of describing vector direction, starting with the simple angle measured from the positive x-axis, measured counterclockwise from east. Um, we've also talked about something called bearing, where you measure the angle from the positive y-axis. Uh, in other words, you measure starting at north, and you go clockwise. That's called bearing. But we also have these methods of describing direction when we are dealing with north, south, east, or west. And uh, let's talk about this version shown here in yellow for a moment. For this warm-up, let's write each of these angles, uh, each of these directions, as an angle measured from the positive x-axis. In other words, we're going to convert from this yellow way of describing direction to this green way of describing direction. For this method of indicating vector direction, the first letter tells you at which direction to start. So this is read north 30 degrees east. The north means start by looking north. And then turn 30 degrees towards the east. So if I start at north and I turn 30 degrees towards the east like this, then my vector ends up in this position. And this angle right here is the 30 degrees. So we need to convert this to the other method of naming direction, which says, how far is the angle if you start from uh, the positive x-axis and uh, rotate counterclockwise from east? So in other words, what's this angle, which we call theta? Well, in, in this simple case, these two angles will be complementary. They have to add up to 90 degrees. So if this is 30, then this must be 60 degrees. Uh, so that's it. So for, for uh, problem A, this is the same as 60 degrees. Okay, now look at uh, problem B. Let's do the same thing. South, 50 degrees west. The south means start by facing south. Then turn 50 degrees towards the west. So if we start by facing south, and then we begin to turn 50 degrees towards the west, like this, then our vector is going to end up in this position. where this angle is 50 degrees. And again, what we need now is angle theta measured from due east counterclockwise. So we call this angle theta. And we begin to consider how many degrees this must be. So from the positive x-axis, over to the negative x-axis, so far that is 180 degrees. So at west, we've gone 180 degrees. If we had made it all the way down to south, that would have been 270 degrees. So we're on our way to 270 degrees, but we had to stop short by 50 degrees. So uh, angle theta is going to be the 270 degrees that we didn't quite get to minus the 50 degrees. All right, if you went to 270, you went too far, you'd have to take away 50 degrees. So that's why we are going to get uh, 220 degrees. So that's the answer for part B. Okay, let's look at part C, and 
going to go ahead and copy my little compass rose for part D that's coming. So north 25 degrees west. So this tells us to start at north and then turn 25 degrees towards the west. So if I start here at north and I begin to turn 25 degrees in the direction of west, then my vector is going to end up right here. And this angle is a 25 degree angle. So now I need to know what's the measure of this angle measured counterclockwise from east. We'll call it theta. And uh, if we had stopped at north, that would have been 90 degrees. But we kept going 25 degrees more. So this should be 90 plus 25, which is 115 degrees. All right, we've got one more left. I encourage you to pause the video and do this one by yourself. South, 77 degrees east. That means start at south and then turn 77 degrees towards the east. So if I start at south and I begin to turn 77 degrees towards the east, then the vector is going to end up here. And this is my 77 degree angle. But I must find the measure of the angle measured counterclockwise from due east that goes all the way around like this. That is my angle theta. So um, what's that going to be? Well, if I, uh, at, at north, I was at 90 degrees. At west, I was at 180 degrees. At south, I was at 270 degrees. But I kept on going 77 additional degrees. So that's why angle theta should be 270 degrees plus the 77 degrees that we have. So that is 347 degrees. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click over here to watch the next video and click over here to subscribe. That way you'll get every new video delivered right to your home screen.